Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. So yeah, it's for the 30th, but you know the timing is fluid. We talk about it all the time, so I'm really not going to get into it right now, but if this reading is for you, great. If it's not, so be it. Let's see what we got. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and then we're going to see what comes up for Thursday. The 29th, but I'm not going to get into the timing. I've already said I'm not going to. So, oh, we got two. We're not going to do that. We're only taking one. <laughs> Good one. Destiny. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is fate. Fated change. Fated change, of course. This is de destiny. Whatever is happening is meant to be. Good luck is on its way. Fortune is coming. Something good. A fortunate event, okay? This could be unexpected fortune coming your way. Something good. This is also a new chapter, okay? A new chapter in your life is starting. Destined change. It's the start of something good. All right, what do we got? What do we have for today? Some things just don't want to go together. All right, what do we got? I don't know which way to take those. I'm going to go like this. Somebody hasn't been focusing on happiness. You know, they haven't been focusing on a relationship or they haven't been putting in enough effort. You know, they haven't been focusing on a relationship, but right? They haven't been focusing on their happiness. They haven't been putting in enough effort. I just repeated myself, right? We have somebody that is about to take a risk, take a big leap of faith, and it's, and it's exciting. We ha this person is ready. It's an exciting opportunity. Fresh start, new beginning, okay? So they haven't, somebody hasn't been focusing on their happiness, and because they haven't been doing it, things have been har unharmonious. There's been a lack of peace. A rainbow is peace. You know, they haven't been at peace. But here we have somebody that is taking a risk, and it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. So leaving something behind as well, because then the fool starts a new journey. It's, 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 you know, leaving the past behind, just, just taking the experiences and moving forward. So we got somebody here that is about to move forward in a very big way, right? I mean, seven of pentacles. Mm -hmm. This is investment. Somebody has been investing. Somebody has invested in something. Mm hmm Hermit, somebody has been enlightened. This is a, this is a, you know, the hermit takes a time out to go through a period of introspection. So somebody, it looks like somebody is, if you is looking at an investment. It's like. Something has been shown to them. It's, they're seeing something. Somebody is seeing some sort of growth. Or they're seeing that it's time, that it's time to invest in something else. Is this isn't exciting. This is an exciting new opportunity right here. So we got somebody here that has become enlightened that it's time to invest in a new path. Hard work, teamwork. This is a card of teamwork. Working together to bring success. Collaboration, communication, compromise, teamwork. Bring success.
This is a very capable energy. So we have somebody here that is very capable of success. You know, the, what the hermit does, the hermit takes time to introspect and come up with a plan. <laughs> that is so funny. It really is. So, you know, this is like plan B, okay? So it's like a plan has, somebody has come up with a plan, or they're coming up with a plan. This could be somebody that is going into a time of, per, of introspection. This is a time of reflection. This is becoming consciously aware. <clears throat> yeah, this, is, this is great, right under this card. Remember I said somebody hasn't been focusing on their happiness? That is no joke, okay? That is no joke, okay? Because this is not happy and this is not happy. So some, and they're right next to each other. Somebody hasn't been focusing on happiness. They haven't been focusing on what can make them happy, what will make them happy. They may have been thinking negatively. Negative thinking won't get you anywhere. So somebody may have been thinking negative. Mm. Commitment. This is the card of commitment, the four of wands. Commitment brings success, no doubt. So here we have somebody that is committing I mean, this is like a union. This is working together, committing to working together with somebody, committed to happiness. This is a card of happiness. So this is a fresh start. We got somebody that's got this new vision. It's like, I'm going to commit myself to happiness. I'm going to commit myself to working with somebody. I'm going to commit myself to, this is a card of happiness, togetherness, union, partnership. Commitment. So we have a fresh new start. I think, we, I mean, there's two people working together here. Somebody's excited about this new opportunity, this new journey, this new... It's funny, this is a leap of faith. So it's like this new, this new found opportunity. It's just, it's very exciting. Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody that has been living their best life. Somebody that has worked very hard, very capable, very successful, very abundant, very self-sufficient person. Nine of Pentacles. This is the this is an independent person that I believe that is probably not going to be working independently anymore because this is teamwork and this is teamwork. So I think we have somebody here that you know has probably. And I mean, this, these are both some serious investment here. Somebody has really invested some time and some energy in building something. Okay, this is this person's built a, a big wall, built a built themselves up. Put it that way. Anyway. King of Swords, this is somebody who is very intellectual, intelligent, um, decisive. It looks to me like there's some sort of decision that has been made. Somebody has made a decision. It's almost like to refocus their energy. Somebody has made a decision to refocus their energy on something more profitable. Because this is a card of profit. This is an exciting opportunity. It really is. Yep. There's something that has been hidden. Something that has been below the surface is now basically coming to fruition. It's, it's coming out in the open. It's coming up to the surface. It's like light is being shed on a situation that has been... Uh, hidden right it's like you, it's something is being revealed somebody's got some sort of revelation you know it's like what something that has been hidden from the surface is is be, i know i'm doing a lot of repeating myself today aren't i Huh. 
It's like somebody has seen the light. Or they've had some sort of epiphany or something like that. And it's like they've made a decision. They've made a solid decision. They've got this new perspective, this new idea. This guy is very, uh, you know, thought-provoking. This is a new idea. This Somebody's got this new idea that is very exciting. <laughs> this is partnership. This is commitment. We might as well just get the rest of these cards and see what happens. Ooh. Ace of Cups reversed. There's been a lack of emotional fulfillment. I hate the Ace of Cups reversed. That's not good. Cool. That's not cool. Somebody hasn't, you know, that's not love. That's not emotionally fulfilling. Somebody has made a decision to change their direction. This is a change of course, a change of direction. Because they have been in an unfulfilling situation that has kept them in a period of darkness. Yeah, they have. And this is holding on, is getting old, holding on to that dead end is getting old. It's time for me it's time for me to, to you know, fly. This is fly. It's time for me to fly. It's time for me to break free. It's time for freedom. It's time for me to break free from this dead end situation where there's no more growth. There's no more happiness here. I'm going to commit myself to a better option. Somebody sees a better option. It's like they've got some sort of epiphany and they're going after it. It's like, I'm going after what I love. I'm going to go follow my heart here. Somebody has made a decision to follow their heart and leave something behind that is not emotionally fulfilling. Something that has kept them in this period of darkness. going after my abundance. I'm going after abundance. I'm going after security. I know my value. I know my worth. The Nine of Pentacles knows their value, knows their worth. We got somebody here that knows their worth and they're looking for more profit. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'm telling you what. This person's mastering their emotions and, and this person knows exactly what they want. So we got somebody here that is basically deciding to follow their heart and go after this new idea, this new thought, you know what I mean? This new approach, this new endeavor. It's an exciting opportunity. Oh my God. The page of Pentacles. This is, this is, this, this, it, it may not, it may not be easy. But this is the new approach. This is broaden your horizons. This is this is the new path being laid out. This is where, you know, this is the person that finds their focus, that finds their concentration, that finds their their backbone to stick with a task to bring success. Even though it's not fun, it's not easy to start a new project. This is somebody who starts a new project and follows through. Comes up even that idea. This person has come up with the idea and now it's like it's time to go. It's time to put effort into it. It's not going to be easy. Absolutely not. It may not be pretty. But there will be a profit. It look at it will grow if you if you make sure that you choose the right options and you choose wisely and you don't get distracted by confusion and illusions, you will have growth. So we have somebody here that is looking at choosing a different option that will grow. And it will probably grow pretty quickly. With nurturing and hard work, it will grow. I think we have some... This is the plan. Somebody has come up with it. Or they're coming up with a plan. Unbelievable. That's all I can say. This is unbelievable. I can't get over it. Um, this is working together, teamwork. So we have somebody in the area that is coming up with a plan to work together with somebody. The high Priestess. This is somebody who knows, okay? This is somebody who follows their gut. This is an intuitive. This is a healer. This is, you know, this is the High Priestess. This is somebody who has a sixth sense. This is somebody who has, uh... Basically, divine counsel, right? 
She doesn't even need eyes because her messages come from within. This is an inner knowing. Somebody has this inner knowing that they can have success, that, that, that this is the plan, this is meant to be. Trust your intuition. Somebody is seeing whatever whatever new new idea that they're get that they have. It's 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 a, it's clear. It's it's this is clarity. It's it's the truth. It's it's. Don't doubt yourself, okay. Whatever you're thinking. Is what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm trying to say. Very intuitive energy here. We have an intuitive, basically, who's who's basically you know, giving the go ahead. Go ahead. Trust it. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. This is a delay. This is not moving forward. This is staying stuck, staying stagnant. This could also be feeling guilty. Feeling guilty for what? Feeling guilty for something. <laughs> feeling guilty for this is greedy. This is a greedy individual. Ugh. Maybe feeling guilty for leaving the greedy individual. Somebody may be feeling guilty for leaving the greedy individual. Is that what this is? Interesting. This is somebody who's been resisting change. Maybe fearful of stepping, stepping outside of their comfort zone, you know? Interesting. Ooh, judgment reverse. This is, this is lack of truth. Lack of awareness. Self-loathing, self-doubt. We got somebody here that is doubting their abilities. Stop. Stop doubting your abilities. Believe in yourself. This is lack of awareness. You have, you have an opportunity to rise. You have an opportunity to... Start over. Right now. Right now. Now, this is... Somebody's... Now, upright, this is releasing the past. Somebody has been reluctant to release the past because they couldn't see what was in front of them. Knight of Cups. This is this is a relationship. This is this is a offer of emotional support. This is compassion. This is relationship growth. This is somebody taking action again to follow their heart. This could even be a romantic connection. Okay, this is romantic romance, relationship growth. <laughs> So somebody may have been aware, been unaware, because this is unaware. Somebody may have been unaware that there's an opportunity 
basically to work together with somebody that will make them really, really happy. <laughs> Could even help their relationship. Um, this is a relationship. Somebody is heading towards a relationship of some sort. I mean, <laughs> somebody has been afraid to step outside of their comfort zone, no doubt, protecting themselves. Scared. Withholding love. We have somebody here that's been withholding love, not not opening their heart. Not focused on a relationship, not focused on success, not focused on abundance, not focused on the right things, put it that way. And because they haven't been focused on the right things, their abundance has been dwindling. You know, their money has been dwindling. But now they're moving forward. They're mastering their emotions and they're moving in a new direction. So we got somebody here that is getting in the driver's seat and changing their direction because it's time. It's time. It's time to close that last chapter. It's time to close. It's time to begin. It's time to close and it's time to begin. We have a fresh start here. We have somebody here that is basically... It's, it's, they're ready to fly, they're ready to leap, and, and I see I see that if this is replacing fear with faith. So this is faith as well. It's like moving forward with faith. We have somebody here that is mastering their emotions. I think they're about to step outside of their comfort zone and <laughs> head in a new direction very quickly. You know, this leads to victory and success. This is triumph. This is transformation. This is somebody that is heading in the right direction. Go ahead. This leads to victory and success. It leads to some sort of happy, fulfilling relationship. I think somebody's gut, somebody's intuition is, is, is really talking to them. It's, it's telling them it is time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. It's, it's time for you to work together with somebody else. It's time for you to... Broaden your horizons. Yeah, it's not going to be easy to learn new skills, to do new things, to do things you've never done before. But this is the Ace of Pentacles in his hands. That is a golden opportunity. It leads to abundance with hard work and effort and perseverance. It leads to the golden opportunity. So I feel like we have somebody here that is... is, is moving in a new direction and they're they're leaving behind a, a greedy individual <laughs> this is greedy they're leaving behind a greedy it's like i'm moving away from that I, you you keep it i don't want it i'll get my own thank you very much Somebody's intuition is leading them in a new direction towards a new relationship that, where there's teamwork, where there's cooperation. That's an exciting opportunity. So that's what I see. I mean, we have a fresh start here. I can't, somebody is letting go of a dead end. I mean, I can't, it is what it is. I'm starting over. I'm starting from scratch. So yeah, that's what we got. Somebody is receiving a message that... This is a message. Okay, that is a message. It's, a, it's whatever this is. This is a solid opportunity. It is. It's a new enterprise. We got a new enterprise here. That's what this is. And it will be successful. Let's get one of these. Where are we at for time? You don't have to hurry. Oh, navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. 
This is basically saying, go ahead. Make the plan. Trust your gut. Did we not talk about this? Oh my God. Remember when we talked about faith too? Did we not? Have faith. <laughs> my words, it's just the way it goes. Trust your gut. Have faith that a higher power is directing your life. Believe. <laughs> Unbelievable. Allow your life directions, decisions to be dictated by what opens your heart and by what brings you joy. I can't make this shit up. Y'all know I can't. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is divinely guided. <laughs> all is going according to a wonderful plan for your life. Be confident that all is well. Sometimes you can't see the road ahead. <laughs> but when you become still, you can feel the right way to go. It's like navigating by the stars. You might not be able to see every detail of the path of your life. But when you trust the light of the stars, your silent guardians or your spirit guardians and the joy of the guiding north star to navigate in the darkness, in the morning light, you find yourself at the right place at the right time. Somebody's coming out of darkness. It's like they've seen the light. We already talked about this card throughout the whole reading. It is what it is. It just summed up the whole reading. You might not be able to see every detail of the path of your life, but when you trust the light of the stars, your silent spirit, gar spirit guardians and the joy of your guiding north star to navigate in the darkness, in the morning light, you find yourself at the right place at the right time. It's time. It's time. This is a fated change of course that is meant to be, that will lead you to good fortune. Don't look back. Good luck.